Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is hopefully the video everyone's been waiting for. I have basically taken out the chips a half a dozen times in this drone and controller to test out to see what versions work, what versions don't, body blah, blah. So what I've done now is I had put these both back into the brick mode, which is the original 6. Uh, 10 or 6.12 versions and we've went ahead and flashed the video cards and now what we're going to do is we're going to basically do updates and because I've made a bunch of changes I'm going to make one extra step in this video but it's not necessary for you because I've already done a hard reset on the drone it's now waiting to load up the stuff on the SD card same with here is that I probably should have done the same thing as just done a hard reset to make sure that you know because I was transferring a bunch of files to FTP you know who knows what's going to happen so I'm just going to basically what they say it's called a, a hard reset which it's going to go back and just flash what's actually on the not on the chip but on the actually memory board of the controller so here we go we're just going to go ahead and turn this on and then we're going to just going to hold these two down you can see it says solo 614 here and I'm forcing just the first update so if this is going to take an extra few minutes to watch the video I apologize but we want to get it back where it's a good uh, and there's no extra stuff that I put on it so before I end up putting the next upgrade because again the chip just look at the SD card as not the operating system but it's the way to flash the drone and controller so when they boot up they will look at the flash card the SD card to see if they should update or not it will check a file to see if it's current and if everything is good then it loads up so that's why it's used one time and then really it's just bypassed on boot because the files are redundant because it's already done the update so we're just gonna do the hard reset and then hopefully, you know, like I said, the files are not going to change that's on the SD card. So the good thing about this now is that even if I were to do a hard reset like I'm doing now, the last time, when it boots up the next time, it's going to load up. It should load up in the next version. But what I'm trying to actually in the test here is to see, in fact, does it boot initially to the 6 point? Uh, one two or does it go right to two four two so we'll know once this once this is done so this is going to take about another 35 40 seconds that should be done now the drones the same thing as I've done the hard reset the chips in there it's ready to load up the new version which is 2.42 and excuse me my hand shaking it's been a long day bear with me we're going to let that do its thing and we could see here that we're going to now just go ahead and turn this guy on because that controller is getting close and we can see or at least I can see I don't know if you could see the little orange light and we're gonna see what it does now because it should start realizing it's ready for an update it's not doing anything yet or it might already be flashed to the 2.42 so let's let it do its thing and like I said I'm not seeing anything going on right yet maybe because it's not communicating with the controller but just let it be on let it do its thing okay there it's solo it doesn't say a version but as you can tell that's basically controller updated so let's go ahead and proceed and see what happens here folks this is all trial and error here I'm going to click the A like I said it was probably ready to flash so we might have to take out the battery and just let it do its next update because it's kind of in limbo and I thought that might happen and let's see what's this guy doing he's not doing anything yet so let's just see one more time okay so what we're gonna do is we are going to turn this guy over pull out the battery 
Okay, it's out. Wait about five seconds. And with one hand, I'm going to try to successfully get it back in, which I did. So here, let's go ahead and put that guy back in place. Go ahead and put this guy on. And what now should do, come on, baby. It should now do the 242 update. So we're going to, give me a second, let me put my hands and feet together. There we go. All right, so now what we're going to do is just one push, hold it back on, turn it on regular. Again, this is, says nothing on the solo, so to me it's completely fresh. And now it should go into update. Okay, now it's waiting for solo. So that is a good sign. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn this guy off. And then we're going to go ahead and turn him on. And we can see what these lights are going to do. Because you're probably going to ready, we're waiting for the pair. And that's what we're going to have to do next. So while this says it's waiting for solo, it doesn't say waiting for pre-flight update. So let's go ahead and see what this guy is doing. Okay, he's flashing, ready for the pairing. So let me find my little tool. Just here we go. And we're going to now pair this by holding this in three to five seconds. Again, this is a raw video. It's no, not a pro, but it's the fix. Holding it down, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. It's already detected it. That's fantastic. Okay, so now let's keep our fingers crossed. Hold these two. There it is. Come on, baby. I put a lot of money waiting on it for you. See, waiting for the solo. Okay, congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. This is an official fix 2.42 in the books, on the record. As you can see now, it's past the pre-flight. It is now good, and we're going to, matter of fact, just to rub it in to all the 3DR, 3DR solo enthusiasts, we're going to go ahead and turn this, because you can tell, cable cam, and this isn't the Solex, because this wouldn't show up. So let's go ahead and turn this down, turn it off. And you can tell it's saying solo, not open solo. So this is 2.42. Why? Because I know, because I chipped him myself. So we're just going to go ahead and let this guy turn off. And let's turn him back on one more time. And we're going to see what it says. See, it doesn't say anything at this point right there. Zilcho. So now you know that's 2.4.2. Waiting for solo. This guy's upside down. Red. Probably because it shouldn't be upside down. So we're going to turn it right side up. Go ahead and turn it off. Now we're going to have to calibrate it. Oop, I just turned it off and it just synced up. But you're going to have to calibrate it and do the whole thing kit and caboodle. But you can see we are past the pre-flight check. And congratulations, Pilot Steve. This took, has taken me a long time, guys. I've checked all the versions. I've downgraded and upgraded. This is about the 10th time that I've gone through this thing and put the right 242 chips in the controller. I've now got a, the website updated so you can watch. Again, you can see waiting for solo. We're just now going to wait for the GPS and the satellites to connect. As you know, that always takes a few minutes. And you can see I'm already on eight right now. I've only got one antenna. I'm inside. So again, this is what you need to do. Now you basically load the app. Let's go ahead and load my app. See where my solo is. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, hold the start. We might even get a thing here saying that the app is connected. 
If not, I have another computer, but like I said, it's saying connect. So what we're going to do, just like the old fashioned way, is now to prove that we're up to date, we're going to go software update, go to this update, and if we cancel that and let that go ahead and just do its thing, we can. Okay, we want to connect. So let's go ahead and connect. Let that update in the background. Turn on. I'm going to connect to the solo link. And as we know, it's the connect solo link, the passcode. Let that connect. Resume the app. You can see there it's connected, right? So we are now ready to go fly. Now I would basically go check all my settings and check all my parameters. I would calibrate it. But again, folks, this is the 3DR Solo Fix for 2022. Again, tell your friends and next door neighbors, Pilot Steve has got the 3DR Solo resurrected. Peace out. Bada bing, bada boom.